there guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna Sophia, if you're new here, and I post home decor and DIY content every single Sunday. For today's video, I actually went to the Dollar Tree in Howland, Ohio, which is my hometown, and I found some really good, unique finds. This is actually probably the most successful shopping trip I've ever had to the Dollar Tree, and I wanted to make some really cute little home decor moments using Dollar Tree products. And also just wanted to share with you guys some of the things that I did end up picking up and how you can incorporate them in your home. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into the first DIY project. For the first project, I came across this home decor piece at the Dollar Tree, and I was not crazy about the agate piece. It just, I mean, it looks cheap, but then again, it is only a dollar, but I think we could do better. So I decided to remove that agate piece just using some clippers, or you could use a knife, or you could use a saw if you wanna get really intense, but this worked out just perfect. It snapped off really, really easily. After I removed that piece, I just wanted to even them out because I'm actually going to take one of those foam hoop wreaths you can find at the Dollar Tree and just place it directly on top of those little prongs. In the past, I've used my drill and a very um, small drill bit to drill a hole right through, but because it's foam, you actually don't need to do that step. You can just kind of puncture it using something like this or a kebab stick. I've actually made something very similar to this before and you guys loved that propagation project, but I wanted to try to challenge myself and do that project similarly, but only being able to use Dollar Tree products. So this is an all Dollar Tree DIY, so you don't need to order anything off Amazon or anywhere else. Everything that I use for this project came straight from the Dollar Tree. If green is your color, that would be great, but it's definitely not mine, so I decided to just paint mine black. I got the black acrylic paint from the Crafter Square section at the Dollar Tree, as well as this baking soda. I definitely think the baking soda hack is here to stay because it just makes the paint apply so much thicker and gets you so much more coverage. So I definitely use that hack often and I recommend it to everybody. Now for this part, I'm just applying a little dab of hot glue into those holes so that way it's more sturdy on those prongs, but you can totally use the super glue that the Dollar Tree sells and actually might be better because sometimes hot glue can make the foam disintegrate a bit. So um, definitely pick up some super glue if you plan on doing this project. So the part that makes this a lot more affordable and make it able to be a completely Dollar Tree DIY is we are just going to be putting dried florals in here that I just picked from the backyard. And here's how it turned out. For the next project, it's actually very easy. We are just going to be taking one of these bowls that I came across. It's got like a, a floral blue and white pattern, which I think is very trendy right now. I've seen it at a bunch of different high-end stores, and we are just going to be making a three wick candle. One thing that you guys actually taught me and it worked out really well was if you warm up the bowl first, it doesn't create that like puckering on the outside of the candle. So that is what I did. I just put it in the microwave for one minute. Now with the bowl all warmed up, I just decided to use those three pillar candles that you can also find at the Dollar Tree as um, what I was gonna be adding to this bowl. But if you wanna be super fancy and do like Bath and Body Works or leftover candles from the holidays, you could totally do that as well. So I melted these on the stove for about two hours on low heat. And then I just applied a little bit of hot glue to those dots that I made in the beginning and then wrapped it around a straw. You could use a kebab stick or whatever you want and attached those to the candle wicks. With the wicks secured down now with the hot glue and the straws, now it's time to add the wax. Any project involving hot wax, please make sure you are being careful and make sure that you're protecting anything around you. So just make sure you laid something down nice and big just in case the wax spills or something happens. So sometimes what happens though is when you're pouring the hot wax in with the wicks, they can move a little bit. So now is the time before the wax totally dries to kind of manipulate those wicks back into the position that you wanted them to be in originally. There's not a ton of time, I would say, from the time you pour the wax to the time it's completely solidified, you have about 15 minutes. But when all of that is said and done, you just trim the wicks and this is how your candle will turn out.
taking a short shopping intermission from the DIY projects, I wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite things that I found in my hometown's Dollar Tree and things that you guys should be looking out for. Like these clear glass mugs are such a good price for what you're getting. I love putting my morning latte in here and I think it looks so beautiful and I found something comparable at World Market for $6.99. Another thing I've never seen at the Dollar Tree before is artificial limes and faux fruit is expensive sometimes and especially the quality isn't always the best but I was so impressed with the Dollar Tree. Like I found these ones on Amazon that look so fake for so much more money. And the last thing in this frame that I wanted to share with you that I found are these vintage inspired glass bowls and they are such a good price you can probably find something similar to this at the thrift store um, but if you're at the Dollar Tree and you see these these look so pretty with the limes inside with the coffee it's just a whole mood so I definitely recommend all of these products Another thing I was really excited to see was the variety of neutral baskets at the Dollar Tree. I've never seen them there before unless it's for like a certain holiday like Easter or something like that. So I ended up picking up this one and I think it's the perfect little size to display in the kitchen with like some tea towels or some washcloths I think would be really pretty in a bathroom and it's only $1. Another thing I was really excited to see was these flat bottom wine glasses. These are so trendy right now. I believe West Elm is selling a set of four of these for about the $30 price range, and these are each just $1. Now, my Dollar Tree or the Dollar Tree in my hometown only had two of them, and I couldn't find them online. So I think this is one of those products that's gonna go very quickly because it's a very trendy item. So if you happen to see these at your local Dollar Tree, make sure you pick them up because they are worth the money. Another new item that I came across was this dispenser for either oil or vinegar and it's plastic but it looks glass and I think it looks really simple and clean. And if you didn't want to use it in your kitchen, maybe you want to put this in your bathroom and fill it with some mouthwash, I think that would be really pretty on a counter in a bathroom as well. The next thing I found, I'm not sure if it's new to Dollar Tree but it's definitely new to me and it is the stainless steel spoon rest for only $1 and I feel like this just makes such a cute little moment in any kitchen. Also, I found this one from Crate and Barrel that looks really similar but it's $12.95 so definitely a better deal at the Dollar Tree. And also the wooden spoons and spatulas I think are a great little moment. You can put those all together and it can all look really aesthetic and styled. For the last DIY in this video, I wanted to share with you guys how I made this foam tube table lamp. And these tubes are a seasonal item at the Dollar Tree and I ended up picking up this light cord off of Amazon so I will link that part below. But everything else for this project came from the Dollar Tree. After feeding the cord through, I just decided to cut a slit in the foam so that way the cord would have a place to rest inside of and the lamp would be straight. And don't worry about there being a little bit of space around the light fixture to the foam. We have a solution to that problem. But before I take care of that problem, I wanted to just paint the foam white. Now, I went through a little bit of trial and error. I tried just using the plain acrylic paint that the Dollar Tree sells in the Crafter Square section, using one of the paint brushes that I picked up in the like hardware utility section. And it was just not covering that green foam just as it was. So then after that, I tried to use the baking soda trick and it did better, but it still wasn't enough coverage. Like, you can't really tell in this frame because they kind of just look like speckles, but it was really, really green on top still. So finally, I just had to use the spackle that the Dollar Tree sells, and that seemed to give me the best, most consistent coverage um, to cover all that green up. After I did about two full coats with the spackle, I felt like it gave it a really nice ceramic-like texture, and it gave a really nice full coverage. You may notice that I removed the light cord and I did that just so I could get the inside very well and not worry about getting paint or spackle on the cord itself. So that's totally optional, but I just wanted to make sure everything was really well covered before I added the cord back in. 
And once everything was totally dry, I fed the cord again through the tube and then just placed the cord down in that slit that we created in the beginning of the DIY. And then I just had to kind of adjust the top because you can see that little hole there. So I just took the spackle with my finger and I just kind of filled in those gaps so that way it looked nice and seamless. And this is how our table lamp turned out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button because I post home decor and DIY content every Sunday. And I hope I see you guys next Sunday. Bye.